All right, guys, I am over at Joann Fabrics right now because I was online earlier and I saw that they have a couple of animatronics on clearance from $399 down to $99. Now we're looking for a scarecrow, a witch, and an eight-foot skeleton. It said the witch was only available online, but in this store right here, apparently I can get the skeleton and the scarecrow. Okay, so all their Halloween stuff is up here. The last time I was in here, the animatronics were down here and to the left. So let's take a look. Yikers, Christmas trees. All right, let's go on up here and take a look. Uh, yeah, they're clearing out all the Halloween stuff to put Christmas stuff in already. They do have a whole bunch of Halloween stuff still in this section here. So let's just take a walk down through here and see if we can find these things, please. Where is... Dang, online it said they had four of the scarecrows and one skeleton. Hmm. Wait a minute, I walked right past at least this guy here. Here is the scarecrow guy. I see one box and this guy is set up, so this may very well be the very last one that they have. All right, guys, I got that thing right here. Not only on clearance, but I got him for 40 bucks. Yep, there he is. I got him for 40 bucks, guys, because he doesn't work. Now, doesn't work, they couldn't tell me how he doesn't work, um, but I might be able to get him going again. Could be a simple fix. Um, I'm assuming, like I didn't see anything broken when I took him apart, so I'm assuming they had him plugged in and he just like stopped talking or stopped moving or maybe both. So I'm hoping it's a simple fix and we'll have him up and running. But even if not, for 40 bucks, that is a pretty dang cool prop. Okay, so here it is. I just got home with this guy and brought him in the house. Um, you can see where he was originally $399. As I was looking online this morning, he was on clearance for $99. And yeah, when I got to the store, this was the only one that I found. The only animatronic they had left in the entire store. And they told me that he's not working. Um, I checked him out, and there's nothing broken on him, so it's got to be something internal. But they said because of that, they would give it to me for 40 bucks. So that is 90% off of the original price. I'm going to go ahead and set this guy up here real quick, and then we will see if we can get him going. So here he is. I just got him all put together. He just goes together like any other animatronic does. Um, I'm actually really surprised because he looks a lot better being put together in my house and this pumpkin face here is actually a lot better quality than I thought. I thought it was just a little thin plastic hollow like mask type thing. One of those that would basically split and be toast but it's not. He looks really good and the hands are also just hard plastic it, this is really made pretty good. I'm going to get him plugged in here and see if I can figure out what the deal is. I did have to tighten his torso because it was really loose. So who knows? Maybe that was the issue. Okay, so I have him plugged in. You can see there's like a, a little short going on. I have his sensor on and he will turn on, but then he shorts out. So I figured out what it is, is uh, this one little connection right here. So the short is not in this part here that I thought. The short is actually in this part that connects up inside here and goes down to this control mechanism here, which makes him turn back and forth. While this is plugged in, he won't work, but watch this. And then I plug it back in, and he stops. So weird. All right, so I've been sitting here dissecting this thing um, for probably about two hours now. <laughs> I took this control box apart. Nothing was loose in there. So I took 
this little box off of here, disconnected it. I have taken this apart in every way possible and checked this rubber band right here. I checked all the gears inside. And what it comes down to is this little motor in here is just simply worn out probably from sitting there running 24 7 in the store it's just a cheap little motor in there anyway i can probably get one on amazon but to go without it is really no big deal because look at this the light works on the inside and the sound works so i'll show you in a second let me get him put back together here okay so here he is all put together here I sure am. Lucky for me, I have this smile carved on my face, or you would see just how scared I am. Shoo! Shoo! So that's how he sounds in English. Then you have a setting that's just the music and no talking at all. I believe when he starts talking on this one, he's talking in French. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think Spanish is the last one. He sounds spookier in the different languages. In English, he sounds like a goofball. <laughs> okay, so I turned his voice down all the way now, so... Yeah, even though his mechanism doesn't actually work to make him animatronic, um, he still does talk, his face does still light up. So he is still a really cool prop for 40 bucks. Now, if I'd have paid 400 or even the 100 on uh, clearance, I would definitely be sending him back because that thing doesn't work. But to buy this prop off the floor for 40 bucks and everything on it that does work, um, and he looks pretty spooky. I like the way he looks, so uh, well worth it.